The equation y equals four x minus seven is graphed below. We're asked to draw a line perpendicular to the given line that goes through the point at negative four comma seven, then write the equation for that line in sloped intercept form. Well notice how the given equation y equals four x minus seven is in sloped intercept form or the form y equals mx plus b. And therefore the slope of the given line is four, which if we went into we could also write as four over one. This is important to recognize because if two lines are perpendicular, meaning they intersect and form a right angle or a ninety degree angle, then their slopes are negative reciprocals of one another. So if the slope of the given line is four over one, then the slope of our line that's going to be perpendicular to this line would have a slope of negative one-fourth. So to find the negative reciprocal, we flip the fraction over and change the sign. And because we're looking for a perpendicular line in sloped intercept form, if we can find the y-intercept of the line perpendicular to the given line, we can write the equation for a perpendicular line. So let's go to our grapher and see if we can graph a line that's perpendicular to this line passing through the point negative four seven. So we'll first select the line tool here below, and now we want to click on the point negative four seven, which is here. And now let's see if we can form a line that's perpendicular to the black line, meaning it intersects the graph line and forms a right angle. Looks like now the lines are perpendicular to one another. But let's move our second point to the vertical intercept of the blue line. Notice how in this case we're lucky because the vertical intercept is an integer, it's actually positive six. So we'll click here to form two perpendicular lines. And now remember our goal here is to find the equation of this blue line. So let's go back to our presentation. Remember we already discovered that the slope of the perpendicular line or the blue line is negative one-fourth. Let's go ahead and check this graphically. Notice how if we want to move from this point on the left to this point on the right, we'd have to go down one unit and therefore the change of y is equal to negative one, and then we'd have to go right four units, and therefore the change of x is positive four, which does verify our slope is negative one-fourth. And so now if we can find the y-intercept, we can determine the equation of this blue perpendicular line. And we can determine this graphically, it's this point here with coordinates zero comma six, and therefore b is equal to positive six. So the equation on the perpendicular line in sloped intercept form would be y equals negative one-fourth x plus six. But while we're here, let's go ahead and verify the vertical intercept is positive six algebraically. We know the slope of our line has to be negative one-fourth, so we know in sloped intercept form the equation would have to be y equals negative one-fourth x plus b. We also know that our line contains the point negative four comma seven, and since this point is on the line, we can substitute negative four for x, seven for y, and solve for b, the vertical intercept. Let's go ahead and do that. So we'd have seven equals negative one-fourth times negative four, which I write as negative four over one plus b. So we have seven equals, notice this simplifies, this would simplify to one, this is simplified to negative one. So we have negative one times negative one, which is positive one. So we have seven equals one plus b. Subtracting one on both sides, we have b equals six. So we have verified algebraically what we already discovered graphically. So again, the equation of the blue perpendicular line is y equals negative one-fourth x plus six. I hope you found this helpful.